Spinal surgery can be dangerous. The operation is close to nerves and close to blood vessels. If you look at the statistics, about 10% of spinal surgery has what it's called misplaced screw, and there are about 3 to 5% that have some kind of permanent nerve damage. With the robotic system, we performed more than 7,000 cases with more than 50,000 implants, and there are zero cases of permanent nerve damage in all these thousands of cases. This is a statistic that we are really very proud of. The Renaissance system is a guidance system for spine and brain surgery that guides the surgeon to a specific location very accurately. Once a patient is chosen to undergo surgery, he has been doing a preoperative CT. The surgeon plans on the CT prior to the surgery. In the operating room, we have a fluoroscopy, which is like x-ray images that are taken inside the operating room. Then the system synchronizes both images. After the two images are synchronized and the planning is executed, the surgeon sends the robot to the required trajectory. And then through that guidance system, he drills the holes that will eventually be used for the pedicle screws. We designed a robot of the size of a human fist that actually fixed on the patient's spine. The robot, the spine, and the patient is moving as one rigid body. This is very accurate guidance. And also you can make the operation minimally invasive. The surgeon doesn't have to open the screen in order to see where to go. It increases the accuracy, the clinical outcomes for the patients, less pain, faster recovery, even less uh, fluoroscopy in the operating room. So all together brings in better results, both for the patients, the surgeon, and for the hospital. There are hundreds of research institutions and universities that have programs in medical robotics. But there are only very few that made all the way through the design, manufacturing, clinical trials, FDA approval into becoming actual product. Out of all these hundreds of research, maybe less than 10 made all this way. One of them is Mazor Renaissance System that started as an idea in the Technion and right now became a fully commercial robot. And this is the only one in the world for spine application. The Renaissance by Mazor is being used worldwide in Israel, in the United States, in Asia, Australia. I'm Floyd Goodlow, and I'm a Renaissance man. Well, I'm a rancher that lives here in Lincoln County, Capitan, New Mexico area. The worst one was probably 15 years ago when that one I, my horse flipped and threw me against the canyon wall. I hit with my butt first, and he piled right into that wall. I think the Renaissance system is great, and you know, I, I would not recommend anything else. My rate of recovery, the things I've been able to do, and the quality of life I've got back is what I'd like to share with anybody that has that problem. I couldn't sit or stand for a long time without pain. Um, I would constantly be popping my back. We had no idea that scoliosis would develop in such a manner that we would see its manifestations by the age of 13. We wanted to limit the number of vertebra that we were going to fuse. So this is where the robotics was going to play into supporting that plan. It increases the accuracy and the safety of what I'm doing. And the accuracy with which it does it, if we're off by more than a millimeter, it won't let us even try to insert the screw. I have two titanium rods in, along my back and screws in there as well. I had a curve of 50 degrees. And then after, Javita was able to fix it to less than a degree. So now I'm straight. I had my surgery June 2010, and about six months later I was cleared and then I went back to pole vaulting. It's an extra safety factor that uh, has been, I think is going to be, as it becomes more widely known, a quantum leap in the neurosurgical technology. Next application for robotics that we can use the system is for brain application, and in particular, is to use this small robot attached to the skull and direct needles for biopsy and for 
deep brain stimulation. I graduated from the Technion in 2001 after completing my studies in mechanical engineering. I think the Technion gave me foundations and tools to be able to work and solve problems and be innovative in my work. For me to work in the medical device company, it gives you another value other than just designing machines, but also designing and developing a system that eventually will help others when needed.